If you are planning to buy the GWM OIA GT, a Chinese brand electric car, recently, please take a few minutes to read the following content. This is a real review from a Chinese car owner, and knowing some of its drawbacks in advance might be helpful for you overseas. First, let's understand this car. The GWM OIA GT electric car has an official price range in China from $19,900 to $21,300 US dollars, with actual prices ranging from approximately $14,600 to $17,300 US dollars. It comes in two models, a 171 horsepower CLTC pure electric model with a range of 401 kilometers and a 184 horsepower CLTC pure electric model with the same range. Since February 2024, I embarked on a long journey of choosing a car, and until recently, I finally got my hands on the desired car and have been happily driving it for a week. Commuting has been a long-standing issue for me, and buying a car to solve this urgent problem was imperative. Initially, I looked at gasoline cars, but considering the pressure of monthly payments and high fuel costs, coupled with the fact that my salary growth couldn't keep up, I eventually turned to electric cars. During this period, I visited several dealerships and compared them repeatedly. At first, I ordered the OIA Good Cat in beige, but after my father inspected the car in person and made suggestions, we all agreed that beige tends to look old and get dirty easily. So, we promptly changed the order to the OIA Good Cat GT in white, the prestige edition, with a range of 401 km. During the price inquiry process, the prices were similar everywhere, and in the end, I purchased the car for about 110,000 renminbi which is approximately 15,300 US dollars. Regarding charging, the OIA Good Cat GT supports fast charging, usually taking about 40 minutes to fully charge. A slow charging station has been installed at home, taking about 8 to 9 hours to charge. In addition, I also bought a portable charger online, which is convenient for charging with a 220V household power supply when visiting my hometown, although it takes about 15 hours to charge. It meets the emergency needs. The official claimed range of the car is 401 km, but in actual use, it can achieve about 80% of that, and it may drop to 70% in winter. Although power consumption is faster at high speeds, the vehicle can still maintain stability at speeds of 120 km per hour, without feeling light, or unstable, with a solid chassis. In terms of driving experience, the electric car is easy to control overall, with a small and agile body, rapid acceleration, and clear rear-view camera making it very suitable for female drivers. The only downside is that there is a slight jerk when braking, which may cause discomfort for passengers. Regarding dissatisfaction, the most prominent issue is the strong odor inside the new car, which feels oppressive and unpleasant, and is difficult to dissipate, especially affecting passengers prone to motion sickness. Secondly, regardless of how lightly the brakes are applied, there is always a certain degree of jerkiness, which is a shortcoming of electric cars compared to gasoline cars in terms of smoothness. Furthermore, the trunk space of the OIA Good Cat GT is relatively small. Today, it was quite difficult to fit only two small suitcases. While it can accommodate small items for daily use, its storage capacity is insufficient for long trips, or when carrying more passengers and luggage. Lastly, there is slightly more tire noise in the vehicle, but it can be effectively masked when playing music. There are four main reasons for choosing the OIA Good Cat GT over other models. First, its stylish and cool exterior design, which is not easily aesthetically fatiguing. Second, the interior material is dirt resistant and easy to clean. Third, the classic and versatile white body of the car has outstanding visual effects and is not easy to become outdated. Fourth, this model is relatively well preserved and has received professional recommendations from my father. In summary, although the new car has some minor flaws, overall I am quite satisfied especially considering its moderate price, and the slight shortcomings are within an acceptable range. If you are also considering purchasing an OIA model, I hope my car experience can provide you with valuable references. Please follow this channel, which may be helpful for your future purchase of Chinese brand cars. Thank you for watching.